Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Vision 1 video. And today we are. Oh, what do my precious 4K quality eyes see here? Microsoft Flight Simulator X. That is very cool. So, yes, we're gonna fly Microsoft Flight Simulator X today again. Finally. The reason for that is this aircraft, which is only available for FSX. Well, what do I see here? That's an A220, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a Chinese plane. It's from Comac. It's called the CU919. It's, uh, very very interesting to say the least. You know, as you can see, it looks kind of like the A220, which originated from Bombardier and was sold to Airbus, which is why it's called the A220 now instead of the C100. So yeah, you might know the A220 from the airline Swiss. Maybe. And yeah, this is the Chinese copy of it. You know, there are a lot of Chinese iPhone clones. Maybe they cloned the A220 as well. Well, the A220 is a very good concept design. So when I think about it, it might also be a 7 87. But yeah, let's just spawn in and see how the airplane flies. So yeah, this is my first add-on plane in FSX. And we have spawned in. Oh yes, this does work. Now yeah, FSX as always. It's not great. So yeah, actually, I do not know anything about this aircraft. You know, I just dived in and recorded this video. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go ahead and take off. Full power. How do I get into the cockpit? Okay, this thing does not have a cock. Oh, does. Oh, wow. It does really not look good. You know, this kind of does look like an A220. Like the cockpit is also pretty smart, I guess. Can you say smart? Yeah, kind of. And we are uh, kind of overrunning a bit. You know, this plane kind of reminds me of the Sukhoi Super Jet. You know, it's also not as super as the super jet. Well, the super jet crashed a lot and now it is grounded as far as I know. And the super jet also looked like a fake plane. It was uh, kind of a fake Bombardier plane and we have just died. Yeah, not gonna lie, FSX without add-on scenery sucks. Wow, we're just falling down. You know, physics are... Not really a thing sometimes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we should probably go to an actual city airport. This does not work. Okay, it's day now. And we have just gone to hell. Jesus Christ. Is that a graveyard? That is weird. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we are at Frankfurt Airport during the day. I still don't know how to control the views, though. That's, uh... <laughs> Let's just go ahead and try to take off this jet again. This is just a weird plane. Okay, so we are in the highly developed cockpit. This is very bad. Okay, we have rotated. That was not... Not a long takeoff run. That was pretty good. And that was a crash. You know, I'm really not an FSX veteran. So, you know, I'm a noob in here. You know, I only play X-Plane and stuff. Okay, so we have Frankfurt over here. This is not realistic. Frankfurt is not as close to the airport as this shows. And it should really not be. And there are a lot of buildings missing here. So, this is not a good simulator. But to be honest, I do like the water. You know, the cockpit looks like a very modern plane cockpit. More like the generic plane plane cockpit that we have in literally every plane. And we have just gone outer space mode. Okay, this thing does really not have physics at all. So yeah, what can we expect? Jesus Christ, this thing is going crazy. Very nice, so. We are staying at over 400 knots no matter what we are doing. You know, I always used to think that FSX add-ons are generally better than X-Plane add-ons, but that does not seem to be the case. 400 knots. You know, gravity is not a thing and stuff like that and physics generally so this aircraft kind of looks like a 787 with winglets. This is weird. Yeah, really a mix out of the A220 and the 787, especially also in size. It's actually right between the A220 and the 787. Like this could actually be a plane from Boeing or something. Or from Airbus and Boeing, you know, a collab or something. So you might also ask, has this plane ever flown, Swiss? Like the real plane. And yes, it has, but it has really not been released least yet. It's quite an expensive program. The plane takes around 20 billion to develop. It's developing still right now, which is quite a lot for an airplane, actually. So, yeah, this plane really sucks money, to say the least. But it's nice to see a plane finally fly inverted without any problem. I'm actually not touching the joystick right now. Very realistic. Now, yeah, what do I think about the safety records on this thing? Probably not too good. No, but I can't imagine that China really wants to get into the mainstream aircraft market, which makes sense because m money? <laughs> Even though it seems that aviation is not really the best place to make money. Well, that's what Thomas Cook says. 
you know a lot of people say made in china is bad and stuff like that but everything these days is made in china so it does not really make sense to judge here about the nationality of this plane but i can already see this thing does not have those engine features that make engines quieter and yeah this plane still has normal winglets and also the wings kind of seem slim so also i wonder about the market that this plane is going to be sold in I, I don't i don't know probably china and more China and more China. So let's use Saint Bartholomew. Boom, full power. Okay, we're gonna crash into this mountain. This does not look like Saint Bartholomew at all, by the way. Okay, no, this is gonna result in death. Okay, come on, take off, take off, take take off. God damn it. Okay, we have taken off. That is very nice. So yes, even this plane can take off at Saint Bartholomew. Totally. Oh wow. <laughs> dead oh wow you know i really would have liked to compare this plane to an actual a220 also in the sim but yeah i just couldn't find any a220 add-on actually i just didn't look it up i'm the best youtuber wait i've just noticed chinese people can't even watch this because youtube is banned in china okay even better oh wow this airplane is so bad this airplane is so bad i'm i'm having a stroke right now the engines are starting to burn right now that's not good at all oh this is dead you know what let's try it out another airport princess juliana best airport Okay, we are totally fine. We are taking off. I do not see fire. Okay, I actually do not see fire anymore. Very nice. So yeah, as you could tell earlier, you can do full air shows with this because physics don't exist in China. We are just normally taking off. Uh oh, okay, now physics do exist. All right, maybe they work better here. Okay, we are completely dead again. Can we like respawn or something? Totally no worries. Hello, passengers. Welcome back to... Uh, uh, China, uh, Southern. Yes. On the C919. We will now do an air show to impress people. Full bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. That's gotta be a lot of G-forces. Oh no. Sully. 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 God damn it. All right, we're gonna do a very nice flyby with this aircraft. More like flyby wire. Hashtag Airbus. What was that? That was not even a crash. Come on. I didn't touch the ground. Oh no. Come on, there were people at this beach. Uh oh. You know, I would have loved for this aircraft to have some kind of thick wing flex, like the 787 or something. But yeah, what do I really think about this plane? Well, it's it's alright, as long as it doesn't crash. You know, I can't really judge this aircraft, but when you type in C919 or on Google, the first suggestion by Google is actually C919 or crash. That's how people think about this aircraft, because there has not really been a Chinese aircraft before. So yeah, I I am very excited to see this plane in the air. Yeah, it has already been in the air, but it has not been in commercial use. But yeah, would I trust this aircraft? Probably, if a good pilot was on board. Sully, please take over the controls. I'm gonna let go of the controls now. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very informational video about the C9er stroke. And I hope you learned something new about China. What am I saying? So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.